Wyoming Arts Council, through the partnership with the National Endowment of the Arts, we seek out programs and projects that are broad in range, but also vast as the landscapes you can find in Wyoming. So vertical dance is sort of a unique blend of traditional dance forms. It's also considered to be part of aerial dance. We only use rope and harness. That's actually closer in a way to climbing. Working with my partner, Neil Humphrey, we started incorporating some vertical elements into productions. And we have created two classes where students learn about the safety and the rigging and the choreography. I think vertical dance allows the students to access more of their body because they don't have the standard supports. Dancing on the floor, gravity is in the right direction. And then you put a, a dancer up on the wall, hanging from a rope, nothing makes any sense and they have to relearn motions and because of that they can actually put more into their motions. And that's something that stays with them. They have better spatial awareness. They are asked to project to a larger space. They are supported around the waist, so they have a much different relationship with their bodies. And once they've mastered that, they take those skills with them in the dancing that they do off the rope as well. Uh, the No Woodstock Festival in Ten Sleep started 15 years ago as a uh, party that my friends and I all threw down the No Wood River. And uh, the band would play and we'd sit on invitations to all our friends all over Wyoming. And then years later, my friend Pat O'Brien started putting on jam sessions at the Per Cup Coffee Shop in Ten Sleep. And then he took it another step and decided he was going to make a full on music festival out of it. And he took our original name, No Woodstock. We do a late spot Saturday night and then we should close out the show Sunday. We usually get a pretty good crowd come in at, that, at those times and uh, we always encourage everyone to dance and jump up and down and it's always a lot of fun. Through our National Endowment of the Arts partnership, we have funded many different kinds of art, from literary and visual arts, performing arts, and also folks that maybe wouldn't necessarily consider themselves an artist that fall into the folk arts realm. Folks who make bows and arrows and uh, fishing rods and knives and rifles that are part of that creative spirit. The Wyoming Arts Council really thanks the National Endowment of the Arts for getting them started. It really helped to push the arts into rural communities, and Wyoming being one of the ruralist communities out there, we're very thankful for that. <laughs>